At some point we have to come face to face with the fact that there is an uneven rate of change between the kind of change that occurs biologically in organisms and the change that we manufacture such as technology or even scientific discovery which happens rather quickly now as we move into molecular biology and uh, new areas of quantum physics. To give you some idea at how slow evolutionary change occurs the last time we had a major evolutionary change was when we got up on our hind legs and we discovered two-legged locomotion that occurred sometime around four million years ago. And when that happened we suddenly stood up and got an avalanche of new sensory input. We suddenly could smell and see our enemies miles away which when we were on all fours in the grasses we couldn't do. But that information was relatively useless to us unless our brains knew what to do with it. I mean you can get a lot of data but if your brain can't process it to some evolutionary advantage it's going to be of no use to you. In that four million year period our brains went through what paleontologists and archaeologists now call a special event in evolution and that special event was that our prefrontal cortex of our brains grew 30-35 percent in the course of four million years and the reason we call it a special event is because that was really fast in terms of evolution. But where I see it we don't really have four million years to wait for the brain to catch up to the kind of complex problems that we face today such as climate change or nuclear proliferation, the spread of pandemic virus. So what do we do when evolution can't keep up to the rate of change that humanity is now manufacturing and discovering.